Welcome everyone to episode 5 of Banda Inku's Arcadia Quest painting series. Today we're painting Maya the Mana Master. To start off, we're going to coat her in some black primer. Because Maya is primarily bright colored, we'll next apply a couple coats of dead white over the entirety of the model. For our first color, we'll mix together some blue-green and some turquoise in about a 2 to 1 ratio and apply it to her cloth, earrings, and magic cloud. To ensure a smooth finish and avoid showing any brush strokes, be sure to thin your paints. For most paints, distilled water is all you need. Once all the blue areas are nice and dry, we'll mix together some Biotan Green and Drakenhof Nightshade and apply it to all the areas we just painted. When applying this shade, we want to avoid it pulling too much in the larger recesses of her cape. To make this easier, apply the shade to one side of the cape, let it dry, and then proceed to do the other side. Next we'll come back with our blue mix and re-establish some of those mid-tones. Next we'll take our shade mix and blend in some glaze medium to lighten it up a bit. We'll then apply this in a couple coats, using it both to darken the recesses of the cape and create some transitions between the shaded portions and the mid-tone. Next, we're moving on to the skin, which we'll paint using some pale flesh. Then we'll mix together some Seraphim Sepia, Reichlin Flesh Shade and Glaze Medium in about a 1 to 1 ratio and apply it over the skin, except for on the face where we'll only want to apply it to the lower half. Next we're going to base coat Maya's hair using our Moon Yellow. We'll then take a break for a minute from her hair and focus on her armor. We'll start off base coating it using Vallejo's Model Air Gunmetal. If you guys haven't tried out the Model Air Metallics, I highly suggest you do so. They go on so smooth and look so good. I haven't messed around much with the coppers or golds yet, but I plan to do so here in the near future and will totally let you know what I think. But as far as our silvers go, they're just awesome.
Next, we'll grab our gunmetal blue and apply it to the headband, belt, boots, and center of the armbands to give the armor a little bit of variety. We'll also apply this to the lower portion of the breastplate. Returning back to the hair, we're going to grab our Cassandora Yellow and wash it down. This wash will give it a nice, warm, fiery look, which will contrast nicely with the cool colors we previously painted. While we're waiting for that wash to dry, we'll grab our dead white and hit her gems, necklace, and earrings and then give them some color using our blue-green. We'll also touch up her teeth and her eyes. We'll then add a little flare to the cloth by adding some brass trim. Next we'll paint her irises using some blue-green. Next we'll grab our micron pen and draw in her pupils and her eyelashes. And to finish off the eyes, we're going to grab our dead white and add a small light reflection in the top left corner of each eye. We'll also paint a light reflection on the top section of each of the gems. Next we'll mix together some blue green and some dead white in about a 1 to 2 ratio and do some final highlights on her magic cloud and her front cloth beads. We'll then add the final touches to the gems by taking some black ink and applying it to about the bottom third of each gem. Next we'll finish off her hair by grabbing our dead white and applying a highlight around the rim of her head, on the ends of her hairs, and any other places where light would generally hit. To finish off the mouth, we're going to grab our pink and paint her tongue. And finally, to finish it all off, we'll coat the base in black. And just like that, Maya is now complete. Thank you guys for joining, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe, and check out my Patreon page where you can help support this channel and gain access to some exclusive Bond and Income content. Hope to see you guys on the next video where we'll be painting the Arcade Quest hero, Seth. Maya, complete! Bondaroo, out!